Hey everybody, this is Mark at Safe Day Trading Podcast and I welcome you. Thank you for listening to our podcast and for your desire to discover how to safely trade the market to master the art of day trading. For a limited time only, sign up for our free Safe Day mini course, free ebook, and free live trading session. Go to our website and register today at safedaypodcast.com. Again, that is safedaypodcast.com. All presenters and guests of Safe Day Trading Podcast opinions are their own and do not constitute financial advice in any way whatsoever. Nothing produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast constitutes a investment recommendation, nor should any data or content produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast be relied upon for investment activity. Safe Day Trading Podcast recommends that you perform your own independent research before making any financial decisions. Hello, everybody. Today is Sunday, um, September 10th, 2023. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Uh, today's Sunday, so we'll start the week. Uh, oil's at 86, almost $87. Gold's at 19.42. have been there for a while. Natural gas is at uh, two dollars and fifty-eight cents. Now I heard that there is a strike in Australia with uh, liquid nitrogen gas or liquid natural gas uh, factory. So that's supposed to raise prices. Uh, silver's at twenty-three twenty-five, and the Dow is back up to thirty-four nine fifty-one. Um, NVIDIA is at 455. It was down six dollars for Friday. And Tesla is at 248 and was down three bucks. And the VIX is under 13 or under 14. Um, so not much action there. Uh, a lot of smaller uh, volumes uh, this week, really. I think it's recovery of the holiday season. We should start kicking off and seeing more volume. Uh, reports coming out on Wednesday is CPI. Um, that's an important report. And that comes out at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. At uh, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time is oil. On Thursday, uh, we have the PPI report coming out at 8.30. And uh, natural gas coming out at 9.30. <coughs> A lot of questions right now about what's going on in terms of interest rates that's coming up here soon. <clears throat> and are they going to raise interest rates? Everything I've seen and, and uh, listened to says the interest rates are going up uh, at least one more quarter. Uh, and then maybe stop there. Having a hard time controlling inflation. Uh, we really don't know what inflation is anymore. They've changed the numbers around so much. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it's difficult to say. Uh, good news is it looks like uh, the Ukrainian uh, advances have stopped and stalled. It looks like they're starting to possibly talk about uh, freezing the uh, conflict, which will be good news. Uh, terrible, terrible losses. On the Ukrainian side, I feel for them, and I hope that uh, they can recover in terms of what the government has done to them. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens there. A lot of crazy stuff going on. <clears throat> I think that September is going to be an interesting month <clears throat> in terms of uh, what may or may not happen. It looks like uh, the administration is kind of melting down as well. Um, and just crazy stuff going on. As you all know, I don't know if you, you know, I don't watch mainstream news anymore. It's just too crazy. Uh, and it's, it's not trustworthy at all. So uh, look at the numbers. I'm uh, going to be trading, <coughs> uh, trading oil, gas, and gold tomorrow. And probably Tesla. Uh, looking forward to making some profits. You know, the reason I haven't been t talking much on Thursdays is uh, I don't really have a lot to say. You know, we can go through the numbers a little bit and have a two or three minute interview. Uh, 
but there's just not go, nothing going on. I, all I see is everybody's talking about, you know, things are changing and getting worse and getting better, blah, blah, blah. But uh, no real changes in terms of, of uh, you know, things getting worse. My expectation is things are going to go down. But every time I have that expectation, things don't. And because of that, uh, you know, I'm okay with it. And we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully we will um, not, will go, nothing will go down. It all goes back up and we'll have this bull market continuing to go back up. But I don't know. I don't know something, I don't think most of the, uh, talking heads that I listen to know it either. All they're doing is uh, protest, uh, predicting gloom and doom. And so I'm not going to waste my time with you guys. You know, you can read the, the information, see what's going on. Um, I'm going to let you know what the technical side of this is and kind of go from there. Anyway, I'll keep in touch. Talk to you later.